Good morning. Another week has passed and I decided it was time to uh, make a video and show you where we were and talk about what happened or what went wrong uh, with part one of the video when I attempted to replace the uh, hydraulic cylinder or ram or piston or whatever you want to call it on the Harbor Freight towable trencher. Uh, and here is the new one installed as I did in a previous video. And the reason I'm showing this is I want to make a point when you look at the parts diagram uh, that's available in the owner's manual for the Harbor Freight Trencher, uh, it shows this piston as a discrete part, and that's fine, and it shows the fittings uh, installed on the piston uh, in the parts diagrams. But when you get the piston in, and it, it was $120, which is pretty reasonable for a hydraulic piston or a cylinder, but when you get it in, it did not have the fittings. Well, uh, I didn't expound upon it too much in the last video, but uh, what I found was they were not a standard fitting and I reached out online and I got some good advice and followed it and I think we've got the right parts today to get this thing fixed and I'll talk about that in a little detail in a, in a few minutes. Now here's a look at the damage I did to the original fitting getting it out of the old piston and I thought I could reuse these. Now honestly I don't know what the previous owner put on this thing to get it in here but it took two of us with a wrench and a, a pipe installed on it to give us more torque to break this puppy loose and of course by that time we, I'd already done some damage to it trying to get it out with a pipe wrench. Well this looks like a standard fitting and uh, I thought I could get it somewhere so I spent a last Sunday driving from place to place trying to Frankenstein a, you know, a combination of fittings that would work with this. Now the problem is and the reason I couldn't get anything to fit is although one side of it is a 3 8 inch and that's the portion that goes into the piston the other portion is a BSPT, uh, British Standard Pipe Thread, which looks a lot like 3 8 inch, but some friends online pointed out that it's slightly different, enough so you can't really thread it on there. So once this was damaged, I could not find a local replacement. So uh, I had to look around. Now luckily, uh, I have some friends over at uh, Southern Nash Hydraulic uh, nearby here, and he took a look at it, he put some calipers on it, and along with the information I got online, he ordered me some of these, and I got some spares. So here's the new fitting. I've got four of these, so I've got a couple extra on hand, and you'll notice that this end is the end that the uh, hydraulic hose goes in, and this is the end that goes down into the cylinder. So I'm gonna put some pipe thread on here. Again, another tip I got from folks online is not to use Teflon, uh, because Teflon will break down. So I've got a high temperature, uh, a hydraulic pipe sealer that I'm putting on this and I'm going to put some of that on there and put it back in and we're going to get this thing back together. Okay and here's my fitting. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to apply a little bit of this uh, hydraulic pipe sealant to the threads. Now one of the things I'm going to do is I don't want to put it all the way to the end of the thread. Uh, I'm going to go in about two threads before I put it on here if you can see this. Started here. And then I'm going to tighten it down just a little bit here. Okay, that's fitting number one. And that's fitting number two. 
Now I'm going to reinstall the hoses, and it's pretty easy to figure which is which because they're two length. Uh, they're custom length hoses for the trencher. Again, this has a pressure coupling on the end. I don't know if you can see that. So no pipe dope on this one. Let's thread that in there. Hand tighten. Do the same with the other. And again, I had these both wrapped in plastic during the week of wait, uh, so they wouldn't be exposed to the elements, and, and no contaminants could get into them. Okay, that's that. Let me snug them down a little bit. Okay, my repair is almost complete. I need to re-harness uh, some of my hoses here, uh, get them back into the clamps so they don't, they're not hanging and drooping. Uh, but other than that, the repair itself is done. Now I can move on to the uh, hydraulic fluid change, which I wanted to do anyway. It's just time for maintenance. And one, one of the pluses in this is the uh, threading compound that I put on these uh, fittings. Needs to set for 15 minutes to three hours, they say, depending on the material. Well, it doesn't specify, so these can be setting up while I'm draining the tank and uh, you know, refilling the hydraulic fluid and changing the filter, and that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take the cap out of the top of the tank so it could breathe so it wouldn't glug, 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 and it's draining on out now. The fluid is looking a little bit murky. As that finishes up draining, I'll move around here to the other side because we're going to remove the filter. Now, the previous owner did replace the OEM filter with a frown filter, and I could have done that, but while I was ordering parts, I went ahead and ordered the original equipment manufacturer. Now, the uh, filter from Harbor Freight was $25, so I'm not sure what the frown replacement would have been. It may have been cheaper, uh, but since I was already ordering the piston and the other stuff, uh, I went ahead and ordered uh, the filter from Harbor Freight. Now in the previous video, I also showed the hydraulic fluid that I purchased uh, for the hydraulic change. Uh, but I did change that. Uh, my brother had recommended the AW68 hydraulic oil, uh, that class of hydraulic oil. And I purchased some at uh, Tractor Supply, which to get the amount I needed, which was 
two two gallon jugs. It cost me a hundred bucks. Well, my my friends over at Southern Nash Hydraulics uh, corrected me on that, and we did get one five gallon bucket for half that price. So uh, this is what we're going to be using today for the uh, hydraulic fluid change.
Once again, I want to give a shout out to Southern Nash Hydraulics in Spring Hope, North Carolina. Uh, they actually got the fittings for me and were extremely helpful. So if you're in that area, or stay in that area, and you need anything hydraulic related, give them a call. This is the actual fitting that I use to uh, repair the Harbor Freight trencher. Uh, these are the fittings that you need. Now uh, the OEM fittings, now there are adapters available, but uh, this in particular is the fitting I needed. So I got a handful of them, so I'm hopefully prepared in the future. And again, I want to thank my friends out at Southern Nash Hydraulic for all their help. And I'm back in business.